In the very first episode of this series, we had learnt how for sound to become voice, it first has to pass through the stage of resonance. In the human body, the resonance happens in the vocal tract. Now what is this vocal tract? Vocal tract is the empty space present above your voice box. Vocal tract is also called as pharynx. Remember, voice box is called larynx, but vocal tract is called pharynx. Now, the pharynx is divided into three parts. First is the space just above your voice box, also called as laryngopharynx. Then is the space behind your mouth, called as oropharynx and then the space behind your nose called as nasopharynx. Okay, let's imagine that our body can be dismantled in parts, okay? In that case, I'll remove the part of my vocal tract and place it aside. Now you can observe that while talking, the vocal folds will still vibrate, but the sound produced by the vocal folds will be nowhere close to your voice. It will be a very sloppy sound, something like Alright, so what we will do now is that we will get the vocal tract and place it back on the neck. What you observe now is that the sound produced by vocal folds, it gets a chance to resonate in the vocal tract and thus the sound gets its unique property of timbre. Timbre is nothing but your unique voice quality. Wait, does that mean that I can change the quality of my voice by manipulating the pharynx? Sure, but up to a certain extent. Let me give you a small demo of this. Mere piya gai rangoon, vaha se kiya hai telephone, tumhari yaad satati hai. Now while singing this, I did not manipulate my pharynx. But let me try again. Mere piya gai rangoon Vaha se kiya hai telephoon Tumhari yaad satati hai What happened right now? It sounded very nasal, right? This is because I manipulated the nasal pharynx. I kind of shut it. Remember your voice when you have a cold? It sounds different, right? That's because your nasopharynx is blocked. Let me try singing the same tune again. Mere piya gai rangoon Vaha se kiya hai telephoon Tumhari yaad satati hai The voice sounded different again. What happened this time? This time, I tried manipulating the space between the oropharynx and the laryngopharynx. This was about the phonatory stage of voice production. Wait, we never mentioned the role of tongue, lips and teeth in voice production, right? Let me tell you something. They do not help in producing voice. Say what? Let's know more about it in the next episode.